and this video is about 20 facts about me to celebrate more than a thousand subscribers! Yay! <laughs> Thank you everyone! Well, I got a comment from one of my subscribers, Vera Octavia, of recommending me 50 facts about me, but 50 would be too long, so I'm gonna start the 20 facts about me. Oh, and the Q&A will be included in between, so stay tuned by the end! I'm a Korean girl who has lived almost a whole life in Korea and who loves the languages. I'm from Daegu, the, the city in the southern part of Korea. I lived there for about 20 years and then I moved to Seoul to get into the university in Seoul when I was 19. I can use both Daegu dialect and Seoul accent and people in Seoul actually don't notice that I'm from Daegu. Right? 나 대구에서 온줄 몰랐죠, 과장님. 대구 소울 대구. 대구 Okay, I got a question from one of my subscribers, Lily Peach. What do you work as? And what kind of work is it? I have a full-time corporate job in a Korean corporate and I've worked here for almost like four years. And I've done the international trading, exports and imports and the main market I dealt with was China. But I'm currently working in HRD sector, which stands for Human Resource Development. And I'm so happy that I'm working in the education sector, that I can give some positive influences to the global staffs and other people. And I also get the energy from them. So I am so satisfied with my current work and the work industry that I'm in now. I majored in business and I sometimes think that I wish I studied something more of a scholar type, which is more academic rather than practical. My legs! A question from one of my subscribers, Hagar El Shafe. Sorry if I pronounce it wrong. Does your job have anything to do with languages you know? And how do you make use of the languages in your practical life? Hmm. When I worked in the international trading industry, I used Korean with my colleagues in the office because it's a Korean HQ headquarter with all the Korean colleagues. But besides that, I mainly use English and Chinese because my target market was mainly China. And now that I work in HRD, I use all the languages I speak because my group is for the education for global staffs in the world. So the company I work for has so many international branches and offices in the world with the global staffs. So I make the educational materials and I also lecture them in the languages I speak. Mainly English, Chinese, Japanese and Spanish. But it's not always like that. So. I can't say that I use these languages on daily basis, but I use all, almost all the languages I speak. And a question from Victoria Christina. What was the language you found most challenging to learn and what aspect of it you struggled with the most? Also, among the languages you speak, which one do you think sound the best to you? Hmm. The second question is so hard. I can't choose. All the languages are distinctly charming, so oh, sorry, but I can't choose. For the first question, the language I found most challenging to learn was, um, surprisingly, English. Since my mother tongue base is Korean, English was a language totally different from my language, Korean. And above all, English was the first foreign language I encountered when I was little, so I think it was most challenging for a little girl in that I have no know-how or foreign language learning experience. So now English is what I feel most comfortable with besides Korean, but I think it was most challenging when I was little and it took quite a lot of time. I have an older brother who hates foreign languages. A question from Nana Improve. Do you have any language you, you want to learn? Portuguese! <laughs> a question from Jen Coelho. When will you start learning Portuguese? I already want to start learning it, but I really can't make time these days. I've been so busy at work for the past few months, 
and etc. So I'm planning to start learning it at the end of this year, at earliest in September or October, but I will definitely start learning it. My Langs! I learned and achieved the languages in this order. Korean, which is my mother tongue, English, Chinese, Japanese, Spanish, French, and Vietnamese that I'm currently learning. I'm an outgoing person, so I tend to emit the energy and I usually like being with people. But at the same time, I also need my alone time. Maybe it's because I emit the energy when I'm with others, so I need my alone time to recharge myself and calm myself. So I'm kind of a two-sided person. A question from Marco Dickey. Do you have any standard language learning method? Hmm, no. I don't have a specific standard language learning method that I always keep because all the languages are distinct, so the language learning method cannot be the same. In my opinion. I just try to find the best way timely and accordingly. So, mm. But I try to think quite a lot how to learn languages more efficiently and apply it into my language lesson videos. For example, CC series, OV series, and key phrase series. So I'll keep studying it and sharing it so I hope you find it useful and I also try to think the efficient ways of learning languages. A question from Ivan Chan. How much have you paid to learn Japanese? Mm, I think I can say about five years. Learning Japanese to the certain level wasn't that hard for me because I was already quite familiar with kanji since I already knew Mandarin Chinese and grammatically Japanese was not so difficult to learn because it's quite similar to Korean which is my mother tongue. So I can say that it all depends on your mother tongue base and your you know, language base. I love traveling, so I've traveled quite a lot so far. I'm so lucky to have many friends from many parts of the world. Spain, Vietnam, the Philippines, Indonesia, Morocco, France, United States, Australia, China, and Japan. I'm so lucky. My lengths! A question from Walter Adent. Vous avez fait beaucoup de progrès en Vietnamien récemment? He asked a question in French if I've made a progress in Vietnamese lately. Sadly, not much. I was planning a trip to Vietnam, but since coronavirus became the pandemic issue in the world, my plane ticket was cancelled and I couldn't go there, so my passion of studying it actually got lessened, and I've been crazily busy at work, so I admit that I couldn't make so much time in studying it, and I couldn't study that much. But I won't give up and I'll make my Vietnamese study log soon, so share how it is and how it's going. But I, I'll never give up. There were times that I hated about Korea, so I used to hate living in Korea. And I also used to hate Korean culture, so I was thinking of going to another country to live or to study in the long run. But now, I'm living a quite stable life in Korea and I'm also discovering you know beautiful or good parts of Korea so I'm now living in Korea liking Korea so these were the 20 facts about me with the Q&A you asked me I can't believe that I could these many subscribers because I'm not a professional youtuber so I really want to appreciate thank you so much and I really want to keep up and continue sharing all with you I'll also continue making the new efficient language learning series and videos and materials and more. So stay tuned and be with me, everyone. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.